What is going on everyone? It's Scott back from CryptoCroc. Thank you all for subscribing to our channel. We're growing every single day, releasing crypto videos, telling you which ones to buy and which ones to sell. And today we're going to be reviewing a brand new coin that just finished its successful ICO and that happens to be B Token, B E E. Now B Token is currently trading at 22 cents with close to $1 million in trading volume in the past 24 hours. Its total supply is 500 million tokens. And we're currently seeing it at rank 1229. Now, B tokens only trading on one exchange right now, and that happens to be IDEX for the ETH pair. So um, overall today, we've seen ups and downs, but really not a lot of uh, trading volume has happened to influence this coin any which way. Now, what is B token? So the name doesn't really um, shed light on what this coin actually is, what this token actually is, but B token aims to compete directly with Airbnb. So if you guys are not familiar with Airbnb, they are the leader when it comes to home sharing and renting out people's homes. Um, so it's basically, if you're going on vacation, um, instead of getting a hotel, you can download the Airbnb app, you can find hosts in your city, and you can basically stay in their house um, for a fraction of a cost of what a hotel would charge. And yeah, it, it's grown tremendously over the past couple of years to the point where it is now valued at $30 billion dollars. And this is a 2016 figure that I got from Wikipedia. So I can see it even going higher than that. So there is a huge market for this. Airbnb is a globally recognized brand. There has been other competitors that have tried to compete with them. They're very small. Um, but Airbnb just seems to be the leader, similar to how Uber is the leader for car sharing. Now, B token aims to compete directly with them by utilizing the blockchain and by using the ERC20 platform backed by Ethereum. Now, they just finished their successful ICO. They raised $5 million, so congrats on them for doing that. And basically, this company here is run by a whole group of ex people that work for Google, Google, um, Google, that sounds a little weird, Google, Uber, Facebook, like these are all Silicon Valley type people. So that's very interesting. Um, obviously a lot of smart minds involved in this platform, um, which is, which is very nice to see. Um, and they're also backed by a lot of advisors and people in the industry that are very familiar with um, with uh, crypto, as well as Airbnb type plays. Um, so that's good to see as well. Now, how does B token differ from Airbnb? Well, there's a few ways, and we're going to cover them here in this video. So the biggest thing is Airbnb on average takes 20% of the cut when it comes to hosts, um, all the fees, the commissions, and, and that is an extremely high number. So the way that they've done it here as an example is if the average rental is $200 and per someone staying for five nights, that's $1,000. On the B network, you're actually the host is actually making a thousand dollars pure profit and you as the guest are paying two hundred dollars no fees for you obviously and how can they afford to do that well because because it's on the blockchain and because it's backed by the b token there's very little fees involved now you can still pay for um property you can still rent a property by using fiat dollars b is simply going to charge you a 3.99 percent fee to do so so you're encouraged to 
you know, basically own B tokens and buy or rent the property um, by using the tokens. So essentially, the more people that use the platform, the bigger it's going to grow. Thus, the whole platform, the whole ecosystem grow when more people use it. So it's actually a pretty interesting concept here. Um, there is a fixed amount of coins, fixed amount of tokens available. And like I said, the biggest thing with Airbnb is its commissions. So they pride themselves on being the leader. They obviously have the website. You post your pretty photos of your unit. You write up a detailed article. Um, B tokens going to be no different. You will take photos of your rental. You will showcase, um, you know, the rooms that are available, the costs, and uh, then people will be ordering it on the B token network. Now, in order to use B, there's actually an, another thing that I want to cover here quick. And the B token is one aspect of it. There also happens to be something called the B's nest and the B protocol. So we're going to cover the B protocol right now. B protocol provides developers the foundation to build decentralized apps. Our protocols are open source and they're made for secure payments and resolving disputes through arbitration and reputation. So right now, if you're an Airbnb host, people can stay at your place and they can write reviews. Some of these reviews are honest, some of them are dishonest, and it's Airbnb's um, team that has to basically flag them if they're spam or um, dispute them. And that is where some of the fees come in because they have to basically pay someone to, you know, this guy didn't change my bed sheets and they're dirty, you know, that kind of stuff. So by using the B token, there's still going to be that level of dispute. However, it's all going to be on the blockchain. So if someone disputes something, it can't be removed. It can't be forged. It can't be taken down. Um, that's not to say that it can't be resolved, but at least it's there. You know, you always hear about um, companies like, you know, Yelp, for example, where um, they will actually take down reviews if you pay them. Now, there's not really many, there's not much proof of that, but I've just kind of heard it. Um, and if Yelp had a platform that was built on the blockchain, then they wouldn't be able to do that. Now, there's a two-minute video here on btoken.com that discusses the ecosystem behind B because, really, it's an ecosystem. It's similar to how Ethereum and Nano have created a world where you could basically make D apps, or distributed apps on their platform, all backed by the underlying technology. So... Think of it like the B token or the bee's nest. However, let's say you want to make an app for dispute. Well, you can actually utilize their back end and do that. Now, here is their token distribution. So only 30% was for sale. So only 30% was released to the public. 30% is going to be saved for community. 15% goes to their team and 25% goes to the company. So if you guys think about this, 30% is only available to uh, the token sale, which is not a lot. Only $5 million is raised. Um, so this token has tons of potential and they're basically, they're not flooding the market with it. They're, they're playing their cards. They're holding their cards tight to their hand and they're, uh, they're not, you know, releasing everything and hoping that the coin goes up. So it's very smart. They're thinking this through. Here's their roadmap. Q3, Q4, Q2, Q1, Q2. So Nest Alpha live in San Francisco. Launch B Protocol and Testnet. Uh, B Protocol 
launch on mainnet in Q3, Q4, expand to five US cities, target London, Korea, Singapore. So not, I wouldn't say extremely ambitious. Um, it depends on which five cities they're gonna focus on. And keep in mind, this is a year away. So Airbnb could basically continue to grow their market share. Um, but once people are aware of aware of B network, then more people might start using it because hosts are incentivized to use it because they're going to get paid more, and end users are incentivized to use it. Um, maybe not initially because there might not be the volume of um, units available, but once more hosts start using it, then the ecosystem is going to flourish similar to how bees work together. So I can kind of see why they've came, come up with this name, the B, the B token and the B network. Um, but let's quickly go over their, their white paper here because it's very interesting. And we don't, we don't typically cover white papers, but I want to give you guys an understanding here of, um, of the underlying technology and whatnot. So they break it down here. The traditional fees of uh, an Airbnb is between 10 and 22%. So three to 15% of that is based on the commission from the platform. 3% is from someone like a visa where they take a 3% fee, 3% on foreign transactions and 1% on digital uh, currency conversion. So at the end of the day, you're only making 80% um, of your net worth instead of uh, a full 100%. Now there's also an increased security and trust. Now this is this is what I was mentioning when it when the trust and when the reputation is stored on the blockchain, it can't be forged. So if someone is a host or if someone is a guest and they um, make someone's life extremely miserable, there's going to be a review of that person and it's going to go on the blockchain and it can't be touched. And therefore their their um, reputation is going to follow them to their grave. It's going to follow them around and they're basically going to have to prove themselves um, because people are going to see that they've got a really low rating and they're not going to want to work with them. They're not going to either want to stay at their property or they're not going to want that person to stay at their property. So extremely important to have transparent reviews like that. Now this is the B protocol. So like I said, there's three different protocols. Um, they call it the PAR system payment arbitration reputation. So the payment protocol send and receive tokens held until fulfillment of the service. So they don't actually get paid until the um, let's say you're staying at a place for two or three days. You don't actually get paid until the third day is done. So that's good. There's, they're holding it in, uh, in case there's any disputes or in case there's any uh, issues they have to work with. Now, the arbitration protocol solves the disputes through trustless voting. And the reputation protocol manages the reputation scores for all parties involved. So anyone on the platform, both, ho both hosts and everyone else, um, everyone gets a, um, you know, everyone gets a reputation. Now, this um, this payment system here is, like I said, zero percent fees. So right away, by simply switching to this platform, if you're a host, you're going to make more money. The downside is. You know, why would someone want to go to your unit initially? Why is someone going to want to go to this network? That is going to be B tokens hardest hurdle in my opinion. Um, now, like I said, they do have a, f a team full of people from Silicon Valley. They obviously have um, a lot of brain power here. I'm sure they're going to figure that out. Um, and once they tackle that, um, I'm sorry, but we need some competition in the market. 
and I think Airbnb is um, a prime candidate where we can start seeing some of its market share go down simply because it's being too it's becoming too big and when companies become too big they get greedy and they also get overconfident and it's when these small guys can come in and sort of shine and um, steal their their parade so to speak so roughly that is the B token um, like I said, they just finished their ICO yesterday, March 1, successfully raised. $5 million isn't that much. Um, I know there's other ICOs that they reach like 15, 20, sometimes even 50, depending on the hype. Um, maybe this token just didn't get a lot of hype, but I can see this token um, getting tons of hype in the, in the new year. Because come 2019, when this token actually becomes available to be used and the platform's available to be used in 2019, you know, the San Francisco market, the New York market, maybe Miami, New York, like these are massive cities that there's tons of tourists that are going to be paying um, both to host and to rent a unit. And if they can... If they can make more money in their pocket, why not, right? So with that being said, guys, thanks for watching the video. We're going to be coming out with crypto videos every single day, telling you which ones to buy and which ones to stay away from. And at this point in time, I don't think um, I'm going to be investing in B. It just doesn't make sense at this point. Um, it's just too early. It's too, in too much into its infancy. Um, but maybe towards Q3, Q4, once we start seeing some traction. And, and depending on what cities are announced, B token could flourish. So with that being said, guys, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later.